This is Skulk. It's one of the coolest blocks Minecraft has ever added. Like, look at it. I need to build with this. So today, we're gonna find the deep dark biome, collect tons of Skulk, and build a giant custom Skulk planet. All in Minecraft hardcore. And the inspiration for this build is actually aliens. As you can probably already see, I've built UFOs in this world before. And I've always wanted to make them a home planet, like a place where they came from. So today, we're gonna do that using Skulk. But that being said, we got a lot of work to do. Let's get to it. So first things first, I gotta come up with a cool design for this planet. So I hopped in a separate creative mode world and began testing. The first test, figure out how to make a circle in a game full of blocks. This thing looks like the Death Star. But regardless, it does look very circular and it might make a really cool planet. I then had to figure out my block palette. So I took out some Skulk and some other alien looking blocks and began putting it on the planet. And as you can see, I absolutely loved the idea. All right, sweet. We have our design but now we gotta go get a ton of skulk. Do I have any skulk in here? Ooh, I got 12. But the question is, how do I harvest this? I think you use a hoe. Ooh. It's gone. Ah, that's fortune. But if I take out my silk touch hoe, it works. Yes. And now that I'm fully educated in the world of skulk, it's time to go collect a bunch more. So I grabbed a few shulker boxes and flew out in search of a deep dark cave. And as I travel, please subscribe and hit the bell. If I recall correctly, there should be a ha ha a warden jail right around here. Hello wardens. How you do? Where are the wardens? There's been a jailbreak! No way, I'm actually so sad! If you guys are new here, a few weeks ago, I trapped two wardens in that jail cell behind me. And it was so hard to do, and now they're despawned. Ugh. But getting back on track, I came here because below this giant wool pillar, there's a giant deep dark city. If I just sneak down here, oh jeez. And there you have it, a lot of skulk. I'll be taking some of this. Just gotta be careful about those things. I don't want the warden coming out. What the heck? Well, okay, let's begin. Side note, there's a lot of diamonds under Skulk. Oops. Ah, I'm funny. But I carried on collecting a ton of Skulk until bad things happened. Nope, nope, nope. I did not sign up for this. Just back it up. I am not prepared for this fight right now. Where's he going? Where is he running to? I'm so scared. What did he just kill? I'm just gonna jump this way and get away from him. Oh no. Uh, well in the meantime, more diamonds. But then I thought of a genius idea. It may seem dumb, but I have a plan. When I first made my warden jail, I used this water elevator to get the wardens up. So yeah, I think you get the idea here. Come on, buddy, get in the water elevator. I believe in you. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Get in the water. Oh, run away, run away. Oh, run away, run, run, run. Did he get in it? I don't see him. I think he might have done it. Hold on, let me check. Come on, baby. Is there a guy in there? <gasps> there is, we did it. I'm so happy right now. And look, more diamonds. I love this cave. But anyways, we got back to work. At least until the warden starts showing up again. Don't tell me. Come on, go away. I just want to mine some skulk. Uh-oh, iron golem, look out, buddy. Oh, they're fighting. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Ooh. He stood no chance. As a matter of fact, let's go mine somewhere else. But from here on out, it was smooth sailing. Minus one quick pit stop to heal up my hoe. Hello there. Beautiful. And a little while later, we have a ton of skulk. Oh, and by the way, I found almost a stack of diamonds down there. That cave was awesome. So now we're all set in the skulk department, but I still gotta go get more blocks for this planet. Follow me this way. We're gonna need blocks from two different dimensions. I think endstone and warped blocks are gonna fit in perfectly with this planet. So let's grab some more shulker boxes and get back to work. So much work today. I'm usually lazy, but today I'm up for the challenge. Let's go. Hello, my piglin brethren how do you do but okay here we are in the beautiful warped biome and i'll be taking all of this oh my gosh it mines so slow i thought i could insta mine this dang it Wait, I'm so dumb. I can just make a beacon. Then I can insta mine all of this. BRB. So I borrowed a nearby beacon from the overworld and brought it to the nether to make my life so much easier. Haste, haste two, does it work? Oh, I love my life. I love life so much right now. All right, two shulker boxes later and we have a ton of warped warp blocks. I think that'll be enough for us today. Total side note, while I was mining, I was thinking, do you guys remember when the nether was only netherrack? There were no biomes, no trees, no nothing. Oh man. I'm I'm getting old. Nostalgia aside, let's carry on. 
Okay, we officially have all the blocks I need to build this planet. But here comes the big dilemma. Where do I want to build this? The end makes the most sense because I already have a space theme going on here. But it also might be really cool to have a planet right above my base back home. So I started thinking about it and then I got distracted by bats outside my house. There's so Side. I'm such a loser. But getting back on track, I have decided I'm gonna build it in the end. And I have a great reason. If all goes well, I might want to make a ton of planets and make a gigantic solar system in the ender sky. So if you guys like the idea, let me know down below. But that being said, let's do it. Let's go build the Skulk planet. So I built up high in the sky, accidentally lost a shulker box, and began building my planet. Oh my gosh, there's so many Endermen here! Don't look up, whatever you do. Alright, let's see how it looks. And... Oh my gosh, I love how that looks from far away. And how does it look from down here? Oh, that looks like a planet. That is so cool. I absolutely love it. Ah, yes. But it wasn't all good. As you might recall, we dropped a shulker box in the void by accident. And that box contained almost all my skulk veins and catalysts, which are both really important for this build. Now the veins weren't a big deal because I actually made a little farm here. I placed a skulk catalyst on my enderman farm so when I kill these guys, I get free vein spawning everywhere here. But the catalysts are a bigger issue. They're not super easy to get. But lucky for you, I have a great idea of how to get more. This might get crazy. So, when you kill a warden, they actually drop a skulk catalyst. So hypothetically, if we could farm the warden, we could farm skulk catalysts. And that's exactly what I want to do. Let's try and make a warden farm. Oh dear. So I started gathering up blocks to build this farm. Bruh, I'm out of redstone. I'm literally over two 2,000 days into this world. What is wrong with me? But after a small mining trip, and boom, that is everything. Let's get to it. I am honestly so scared right now. But putting my fear aside, I began our journey. Um, okay, that was odd. All right, here we are. I am so not ready for this. But you gotta do what you gotta do to make a skulk planet. So I gotta carefully go find a shrieker. Oh, I think I found more than one. Gentle, gonna break some of these things. And okay, we have one isolated shrieker. This should be easy for me here on out. So this farm is designed to summon and drown the warden in a water elevator. Kind of morbid, but it works. All right, it should be all done. I have not tested it yet, but I have faith. So basically all I gotta do is break this block here, stand on top of the shrieker, and it should spawn a warden eventually. Uh, nothing's happening. I'll save you some time here. I somehow built this farm on a shrieker that wasn't working. So I had to rebuild the entire farm somewhere else. Take two, please work this time. I stand here. Oh, I see darkness. Oh, it's working. Look, he's in there. And now I just smack this back on top and let the guy die. Did it work? Yes, Skull Catalyst. Boom, there we go. A warden farm that actually works. So I AFK'd to get as many catalysts as I possibly could. And then I flew back to the planet and placed them all around. And the verdict is so much better. Look at that texture. Worth it. Now, there's still so much more to do with the planet, but first, I gotta take care of something really important. Last episode, I said if the video got 20,000 likes, I would dump a bucket of ice water on my head. And you guys did it. So on that note, roll the footage. Okay, here we go. I don't wanna do it. And I am done with that. I did not enjoy that. But that being said, if this video gets 30,000 likes, I will let you guys pick the next challenge. So comment your best ideas down below and I'll pick my favorite. Don't hold back. But getting back to Minecraft, we definitely gotta do something else to the planet. Like obviously it looks nice, but it needs something more. It needs nature. The reason why Minecraft feels so lively is because of all the nature around it. The trees, the plants, the flowers. And my planet has none of that. But luckily, I think I can solve that problem. Follow me. In this world so far, I've built quite a few custom trees. So I figure I can design some skulk trees. So I hopped back in my creative mode world and began experimenting with custom tree designs, then adding skulk to it to make it fit the planet's theme. Honestly, I don't hate this idea at all. And by the way, these skulk sensors are perfect for like flowing leaves on the tree. Well, okay, we have our plan. Now we just gotta go get some more materials from the nether. Let's get to it. Would you knock it off? Gotta build a planet here. Oh my goodness. I win. And just like that, we are out of here. Let's see what we can do here. This is gonna be kind of complicated. Wish me luck.
Yes, yes, yes. That is exactly what I wanted. Look at those trees. It makes the whole planet have more like shape to it. It's kind of hard to see from down there when you get up here. Look at it. It's like a nice little forest kind of. I love it. So we can finally say the planet surface is finally done. I think that is 100% amazing and complete. But that being said, we're actually still not done because I have more ideas involving the outside of the planet. Not on it, but around it. If you recall, this whole build was inspired by UFOs and aliens. So I think it'll only be fitting to build some UFOs around the planet to make it kind of feel like their home world. This will literally fit in so perfectly. It'll tie the entire build together. So we gotta do it. Okay, what do I need for this UFO? Slabs, trap doors, glass, ah, and redstone torches. I don't have any redstone. One second. Aha. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Child, go away. Bad boy. But carrying on, these UFOs need quite a lot of materials. For someone who's building a giant end planet, I've been in the nether a lot today. And I think that's everything. All right, time to go build some UFOs. Broderick, Charlton, I'm going to the moon. I'll see you later. If you order a pizza, save me a slice. Thanks. Here we go. And there we go, some beautiful UFOs floating around their home world. At first I was kind of like, is this the right idea? Maybe not. But looking back, I love them because they look so big compared to the plant. They're like giant alien motherships, which by the way, might be a future build idea for me. No spoilers. But all that being said, this skulk planet is officially 100% done. It is chef's kiss. And on that note, I need a break now, but not just any break, disco break. But all jokes aside, I'm so excited. This is the first mega build in our space project. My long-term goal is to fill the sky with more planets and turn the Ender Island into the moon, which also means I gotta tear down these obsidian towers. But that's for another day. But okay, that's gonna be it from me today. So make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.